What's up, this is MRJ. And this is the walkthrough of Cold Cold Heart. I think this is the last part. Now we are fighting Mr. Freeze. I think I need to get behind Mr. Freeze and punch him or something, no? I guess he has to do something with this. I need to drop a smoke pellet. It's telling me to drop a smoke pellet.
That room is filled with ice formations, Master Bruce. I suggest you use them to your advantage. You want to stop me? Then come out of the shadows! You shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. And that just leaves you. Please. You can save her. You just have to bypass the wild cop. Victor! She died! But I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go!
breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman, for all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. But I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real, all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. Congratulations, sir. Victor, Ferris, and even that scoundrel Cobblepot are all in custody. Shall we call it a night, then? Not yet, Alfred. There's still work to be done.